Look at that. It's hideous. This is my home. This is literally like a London apartment, honestly. Oh, there's a hole in my roof. Even more realistic, like a London apartment. What is going on, guys? My name is CPK, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we are back with One Life Season 3. That was a bit dramatic, maybe. Maybe a little over the top. Maybe we calm down a little bit. We're back with some One Life. I'm super pumped. I was so nervous loading this up because, I mean, I mean, it's One Life. So, you know, if you die, you're gone. Here's the server board here. As you can see, players on the server. Now, I wish I knew everyone by skin. Uh, I actually just don't. Uh, there's me, Scott. I think Stacy in some goggles, potentially. Kyle Yami, Lizzie, Joel, Lauren, Shovel, Joey, Megan. These are the crew people, I'm pretty sure. Ollie. And someone. Yep. You're in, someone. Same for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I actually don't know everyone that's on the server. We have had the hardest time actually getting on the server for me. Turns out that a mod that we had called Mosods was causing a massive glitch uh, where a meteor had struck and was causing the server to crash over and over and over and over again. We've been trying to get on for two hours now and I need to leave for Summit in the City in, I'm not even wearing a watch, about an hour. So we're in a bit of a rush now, um, but it's all good. We're back on One Life. I'm super excited. Message board, update with tasks, make another portal, make an enchanting room across from the nether room. Ah, so this is called the town hall. We have a daytime button and a clear weather button in here. I'm going to guess that these shulkers are color coordinated. So this is mine. Are we supposed to take the shulker with us? I'm not sure. I'm going to take a shulker box and see what happens. I mean, it seems like it would be mine. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So right now we are in the town hall, um, which is our communal area. Not sure what this room is. Looks a bit spooky though, but we can't get in there. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay. Hello. What's up here? Whoa, what? This is sick. Little piano. I'm sure Ollie's going to sit there for the, uh, you know, episode he may or may not make. I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. His episode won't come out the same day as everyone else's. We can go to the roof. There's a, a wolf up here, a horse, some sort of zen garden where I can have a lay down if the server's getting too stressful. But as you guys will know, the rules of One Life are simple. You have one life. Uh, you cannot die. If you die, you're out of the series. This season, there will be no replacing anybody. Uh, I know we didn't do it last season either, but no one really died last season. Last season, we were allowed five episodes of uh, deaths. We were allowed to die in the first five. And uh, after that, if we died, we were out. This time, we're allowed two episodes. So we're making it a little bit harder because we want some drama here. Whoa, what? There's a shulker box full of stuff. I'm going to guess that's not for me. Uh, I'm going to press the daytime button just to make sure it's nice and early in the morning as we leave. Um, and I'm just instantly attracted to this. What is happening over here? Uh, so yeah, as I said, these first two episodes, we can die. But after that, we have to start being a little more careful. Obviously, I will not be wasting any of my food or my regen potions uh, in the first two episodes because it doesn't matter if I die. So we're just going to take it easy. Episode one, I'd like to get some armor and maybe have like a very small house to live in. We spawn with a chunk protector. Now, a chunk protector will last for 72,000 ticks or three Minecraft days. Uh, what that does is it protects me from any mobs and no mobs can come near the house. Now, this is what I'm pretty sure was causing the crash. So, uh, Mo Swords has the Meteor Sword. And the Meteor Sword, believe it or not, makes meteors land and uh, destroy the environment. I think that's what happened. And it was causing a chunk error. But here we are. We're out of it now. I see a tower. I'm, I'm curious about this. We'll go check it out. There's no better time to check things out than my first two episodes. Okay. I'm now a little bit more scared than I was originally. Hello? Oh, no thank you. This is not for me. No thank you. Nope. So we actually have a couple of little rules as well, guys. Um, you're not supposed to log out if you're in grave danger. Because obviously... Last season, there should have been about five deaths. But what everyone did was they logged out and uh, they waited for someone to come and help them. I was guilty of this. Um, as you probably saw, if you watched the One Life Season 2, I went down into a rogue dungeon and uh, I was surrounded by about 10 baby zombies and I couldn't move and they were hitting me. I logged out and I waited for Scott to come and help me. Oh my goodness, someone has made a home. 
Who lives in a house like this? So you can't log out if you're in grave danger. And if you do, you actually stay logged in for 10 seconds, I think it is. The starter home of Think Noodles. Wow. But guys, if you are excited for another fun-filled series of One Life, let's go ahead and leave a like and uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you're pumped about this. I'm so excited. One Life was one of my best performing series ever. So I'm excited to see if we can do the same again. I'm going to be making it action-packed as possible. Uh, I'm not going to be shying away from any danger, hopefully. I'm going to be trying to do a few scary things. But I haven't looked too much into the mods yet. I tend to not do that for the first episode. And then the second episode, I'll uh, look into them overnight. And um, look in more depth of what mods we can pursue to make us OP. Because obviously, we're in a series with Joey. Now, if you know Joey's channel, you'll know that Joey is OP all the time. Oh god, do we have the lumberjack thing on? The um, timber mod? Is it going to break the whole tree and that's why it takes so long? Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Okay, so obviously we are going to need the old essentials, aren't we? We're going to need a crafting table, make ourselves a little wooden pickaxe, and we're going to head back into this little cave here, grab some stone, and then I saw some coal as well. As you know, just for the basics. Okay, so I was curious, so I had a little look, and it turns out there's actually a bunch of stone items. But we need to make compressed stone, which is cobblestone, and uh, this stuff. So let me first of all make a uh, pickaxe, because that's the most important thing to me. Uh, followed by a sword. Now I'm going to do... How did I do this? Was it like this? It was. Ah. Okay, so I need compressed... I need a lot of compressed stuff. And I need actual stone as well. So we are going to use... I'm going to cut it because there's no point in me showing you me doing this. But I am literally just going to dig up a whole bunch of this stone in this little quarry area here. And uh, get myself some stone armor to get started. You will also see we do have two rows of hearts as well, which is great. Um, I don't think we had two rows last time, did we? Oh, did we? I have no idea. It's been almost a year since the last series of One Life. Which is crazy to me. Crazy. Okay, let's see. We'll definitely have enough to get some stuff uh, right now. Okay, four more pieces there. So now we have two stones. I think that means that we can make stone boots. And they've got ecological one. I'm not sure what that means, but we get some armor. And that's all I care about right now. And it's getting dark. It's getting dark. I don't want to mess around with this. I know we have the Blood Moon mod on again, uh, which I don't want to experience ever. Because it is terrifying. Nice. Now we've got a stone helmet. This is legit. I'm glad I checked that we would have the stone stuff. Gotta be careful not to take damage. Remember, because it is uh, hardcore rules, so um, you don't regenerate hearts without potions or golden apples. Which means it would make sense for me to go to the nether in the second episode, if possible. So that I can get a bunch of blaze rods and not feel bad for dying. Okay, now we can make ourselves some leggings. Yeah, we need six stone. Which we'll get slowly but surely from this lovely furnace. I have a little wander around while that happens. We can use our axe now, which is going to speed up the process, hopefully. Not a great deal. Doesn't speed it up a lot. <laughs> At least you get a lot of wood when it does fall down. All right, we got it. We can make it now. There we go. Stone, chest plate. Put the leggings on, put the chest plate on. We have an entire set. Okay, and just to make sure I have the safest start possible, I've also made sure that I have enough cobblestone here to make myself a little treat. And that treat is an advanced stone sword. Boom! So that is seven damage and has a bigger durability, which is awesome. So we need to get some wood because we're gonna, I mean, we need to build a little home somewhere. Probably not right here, but we definitely need to build a little home somewhere. So let's get a few more of these and then we'll go and find somewhere to temporarily set up our home. I assume at some point we'll end up with like a central hub of houses again like we did last time. But I'm not too sure where everyone is building yet. So I don't want to build anything too huge uh, until a few episodes in when I can then focus on building near friends. Okay, my plan is just to literally adopt a chunk of this uh, area here and just temporarily live in it. Nothing serious, nothing big. Just something nice to, to keep, us, keep us safe at night. I mean, obviously we can just sleep, but... It's, it's nice to feel safe. So I'm going to have a nice little nice little home. Like a, like a little hobbit hole, essentially. Should probably have a door, really, shouldn't it? Probably have a door. Ah, yes. There we go. We got a door, but we're already, we're already out of wood. I didn't have anywhere near as much as I thought I had. But my plan for this season, guys, is to honestly make my One Life videos way longer. Uh, I feel like last year, 
Uh, there was a lot of episodes where I just kind of rushed them out and uh, didn't get as much done as I could have. And that left me really, really like badly off towards the finale. As If you watched The Purge that we had at the end of the last season, you'll know I didn't really do well at all. Um, in fact, pretty much the first person I saw ended up just destroying me. Uh, so, you know, I don't want that to be the situation again. So my episodes are probably going to be a little longer. I'm going to record for a much longer period of time. And obviously with the help of Editor Lou and his masterful edits, we'll get one heck of a series out of this. I'm, I'm confident in it. As long as I don't do something stupid and die, which does sound like something I would do, honestly. Uh, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best not to do that. I don't want to let you all down. Look at that. It's hideous. This is my home. This is literally like a London apartment, honestly. Oh, there's a hole in my roof. Even more realistic, like a London apartment. Kushti, nice. I like it. Shulker box, slapped in that corner. Four torches to light this bad boy up. Skaboom. And we are, we're good to go. Honestly, I'm proud of us. Our first waypoint, home. I was trying not to eat the food that I had, but then I realized that food's not gonna be too hard to come by anyway, is it? Like, let's be honest here, so. We have our home set. Now, I'm gonna try not to adventure off too far. One, because it's episode one. Two, when we were trying to work out what the crash was uh, with the mod. <gasps> There's a fox. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know where the fox went. I lost track of it. But I know. Th it's there. I know we can tame it. I just don't know what with. I they're super smart as well. You tame it and it literally will help you like mine. Hi, bud. Oh my god. I'm in love. Do you think it's just like a raw meat? Where's that? Where did that chicken just go? Chicken. Come here. I'm so sorry, chicken. Chicken. No, don't, don't. Stop being so small. I'm so sorry. What is this guy doing? Oh my god, is that a hat? Give me the hat. Yes! I have a hat. Look, I have raw chicken. They're similar to ocelots in that you have to have it out and like walk towards them. They, they'll walk towards you. But I'm not sure if it's chicken. I saw someone say it was rabbit. I don't have any rabbit. I'm not sure he's interested. I want him though. I'm gonna try and get as close as I can to him. Look, I brought you chicken. You like chicken? You like chicken? <laughs> you want my chicken? Please come back. Please come back. You're so fast. Ah! Look, I brought you chicken, bud. You don't want chicken, do you? You want it? You want it, fox? You want it? Clearly, he actually does want rabbit. I don't know where there are any rabbits. I'm on an adventure now to find a rabbit. I want a fox. Give me a fox. I don't want to go too far out, but I, I need to find a rabbit, man. Are there any deserts nearby, maybe? Maybe if there's a desert nearby. I also definitely want to collect the hats. So anything with a hat on, gonna have to die. So sorry. Come on, you rascally wabbits. Where are you? Come out, Mr. Wabbit. I have a winter surprise for you. There's another fox. God, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I didn't realize there were variants. There are variants. Oh, what's this? Hello? Who lives here? What the heck? Is that a villager house? Uh, Julina. Hello? Why have you got a name? Who are you? I'm, I'm a bit scared of you, I'll be honest. Oh my goodness, you've got a hat on. Sorry, sir. Sorry, had to. I need the hats, man. Don't do this to me. I feel bad. <gasps> Snow, snowy area. Snowy areas have have rabbits usually, right? Give me rabbits. Huh? Splash. Oh come on! There's a blood moon. Already? Are you serious? I've literally been hit with the blood moon already. That is so silly. For those of you who don't know what a blood moon is, every now and again, there's like a one in 10 chance or something, I think, that the blood moon will rise each night. And if the blood moon rises, basically the mobs that spawn are way more powerful. It can cause blazes to spawn in the overworld instead of in the nether. It's intense. Um, and of course, we get one in episode one. Why not? Why not just throw a blood moon at us? Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And I haven't even managed to find any rabbits over here. Uh, oh, also, with uh, Blood Moons, you can't, um, you can't sleep. Th oh, holy Jesus! Oh, yeah, I'm, literally, I'm under attack. I'm under attack. Okay, great. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. 
I want that hat though. Flowers in a hat. All right, let's do this. We're going to make it back home. We are going to make it home. I am confident in our abilities. Oh my God. No, I'm not. There's a lot of things around here. A lot of things. A lot of things. All right, here we go. Let's try and get back up here. Ow. Oh, goodness me. Oh no, I can't run. That's bad timing. Oh, it's all icy. I can't even jump off the edge. Parkour. Parkour. I am in danger. Oh God, a witch. Go away, witch. I don't have time for you right now. Oh God. Oh, not an enderman. Let's go away. Go away. Go away. Ow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ow. Please leave me alone. Tree parkour. Go, run. Ah. Yes, it's working. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Uh oh Lots of skeletons. Lots of skeletons. Just hit each other. Leave me alone. Hit each other. Leave me alone. Ooh. Okay. Nothing's gonna come underwater, right? Never mind. Yes, things will come underwater. Well, now we wait until we can be revived. Okay, we're back. We are revived. Uh, big shout out to server admin aces for uh, for sorting that out. Uh, now, there's nothing I can do. You can't sleep because I don't feel tired enough to sleep, apparently, because it's a blood moon. Uh, which is a total lie. I'd love to sleep through a blood moon, but sadly we cannot. I could drop my chunk protector, but there's no point. I'd rather stick it out for now. So I'm going to disconnect for now until the blood moon is over, just because I can't possibly go out there at the minute. And uh, I'll be back. Are you hearing the noises around me? It is frightening. There's so many mobs around. It's 5 a.m. though, so the sun should be rising pretty soon. Is there anything out here? Oh god, yes, there is. Ooh, never mind. I looked back in to just quickly address something. I know for a fact there are going to be comments that are like, you said you can't log out if you are in danger and you just logged out in a blood moon. Well, I mean, the first two episodes, it actually doesn't matter if I die. So I logged out purely because there's no fun in just watching me die over and over again. The only person that can revive me is the server admin, and he's currently on a train. Um, so he did just revive me now. I don't want to keep having to make him go on his phone and do it while he's on a train. So, you know, let's just be nice. Also, if you're still watching, guys, uh, Road to 500k subs, we're right around the corner. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, it is almost morning time, I think. So we will be able to uh, go outside soon. Uh, but I'll bring you back when we can do that. Oh, it's sunrise. It says so on my screen. <gasps> Things are dying. Yay for death. Listen to that sweet, sweet noise. I really hope I have my Minecraft turned up loud enough for you to hear that. So we cooked up some pork chops. I'm going to cook up some mutton as well. Oh my god, they're literally like on my house, look. It looks like the block is dying. Okay, we're heading out. Hello? What's dying in my house? Oh, zombie villager. The creepers are still active. I thought maybe they'd chill out because it was daytime. Apparently not. Oh no, don't blow up. Not right outside my house. Don't make a mess. Oh god. Right. This is, this is silly. This is silly. Oh, go away. Go, get in the sun, you. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go into this cave that's right here. Oh my goodness, I can't even cut wood. Come on. Yeah, that's what you get. Why would you come out here? I'm trying to cut down a tree, man. Why are you going to do that to me? You're going to do me like that. Okay, 24 torches and a pickaxe. We are going into this here cave to have a little exploration. Great. A creeper's made its way down here. Luckily, I nailed the jump. So we're going to take as many resources as we can. Literally anything from coal to iron to gold to whatever we can get our grubby little paws on, honestly. Oh, thank the Lord. There's a bunch of iron. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this really goes places. Okay, let's have a little look down here. Oh, more iron. Good. Hello, creeper. We meet again. Hey, get away. Oops. Oh, no. That wasn't smart. I tried to jump past him. Didn't work. Great job, me. Oh, God. How? Why do skeletons exist? Can someone answer me that? Can someone honestly answer me that question? Like, if you can give me one good reason why skeletons exist, I'll let you off. Get the iron. Get out of here. 
Okay, so a whole bunch of iron later, and I am happy to go back to my house. The veins here are good. We have been getting very lucky with it. So I'm, I'm happy to leave now, thanks. Okay, so we ended up with uh, 41 iron. That's actually fantastic. 41 iron and a blood moon in the first episode. Not bad going. I think you'll agree. Uh, episode 2, definitely going to find some diamonds. Might do a little bit of uh, off-camera. Although there is no such thing as off-camera in One Life. As you'll know, everyone who plays the server has to record any time they are on. Um, because obviously if I died, there'd be no footage of it. And at least if I'm going to die, I'm going to at least get my episode out of it. All right. And we survive to fight another day. Hello, everyone. I live. Hello, house. Start cooking up this iron ore. I'm going to leave the first episode of One Life here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, like I said, please do leave a like. Let me know that you are watching in the comments section below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm so close to half a million subs. It'd be amazing to hit it in like the next couple of weeks. Thanks again for the support. And I'll see you guys in episode number two of One Life. Peace.